Hi everyone, it's Pink here today and I have a tutorial for you with the Swirly Do's Kit Clubs 2016 Project Add-on Kit. If you don't already have any of these kits, make sure you go to swirlydoos.com to purchase them. They're always amazing and greatly coordinated. And this today I have a canvas that I've made with the Project Add-on Kit. So what comes in the Project Add-on Kit this month is the Tim Holtz Distress Paper Mosaic Kit. Now this is a really great kit. It has very, very clear instructions and is super easy to use. Um, I'm going to go through all the steps with you during this video, but if you would like any further information on the Distress Kit, Tim Holtz has put a video out on how to use it and it is very helpful. So I've put a link to that video in the description box so you can check it out if you'd like. So inside this kit, there is three products. One is the grout, this one here. Number two is the glue. And then we have the glaze, this the one that goes on top to make everything shiny and look like glass. So these three items come inside this little box, which is in the kit this month. And that's how we're going to make our canvas. Also in the kit, the project add-on kit for 2016, is a piece of lace. We have some um, adhesive rhinestones in silver, a um, chipboard frame from Dusty Attic, some of the Prima Royal Menagerie flowers. There's actually quite a lot of these flowers in the kit so you can mix and match as you like. And lastly, we have a canvas. This is 12 by 5 and a half inches. What happens is I actually thought I was filming and I wasn't. So I've applied the first layer of grout to this. So you just need one layer. It's very easy to apply. I just put it on with a palette knife and spread it out to try and make it as smooth as possible. So for this, I wanted a picture in my mosaic pattern. So what I did is I went onto Pinterest and I found this little hummingbird picture which was under stained glass um, patterns, if you're looking for them. And what I've done is I sized it on the computer to fit my canvas, and then I printed out three copies. So one I cut around the outside of it, one I left whole, and the other one I cut all the little bits out and then traced around my paper. Um, also, I have cut out extra pieces of paper for the background of my mosaic. And the paper that I have used has come from the January 2016 main kit and I've listed which papers I used in the description. So what I'm doing is the first step is starting to add on my little pieces of paper that I've cut out. I'm just using um, the bird cut out as kind of a template of where I want things to go. I'm trying to mark it with pencil but it actually it does, it's not really working but that's okay. So what you do is you first add the glue onto your canvas where the grout is and then you add it onto your little piece of paper and you stick them down. Also you need to go over the top of all these little pieces of paper later. So I just kind of was doing it as I was working, putting it over the top, putting more glue down and sticking them on. When you're using a cutout like this I was just putting my template on just to make sure I had it in the right spot and I had all the pieces that I wanted. This um, paper mosaic kit is was really fun. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I actually got another project in plan for what I want to do next with it. And it's also, it's not a quick process. It did take me a long time to do all this, but it's um, very relaxing. So if you're wanting a, a nice, easy task to do, this is definitely one to do. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting all my little pieces of um, paper down in the shape of the bird. And while it looks like I'm going really fast, it actually it wasn't. I've just sped that up a lot. <laughs> so once it's all on, you put some glue over the top to stick it down. And for the beak there, I've just used a little bit of yellow cardstock I had sitting around in my stash. Now I'm starting on the background. Now I've cut way, way too many little pieces of paper out for this, and I just cut them randomly into little shapes. But it was actually good because then you can sift through them and find which pieces you think fits where. 
and of course you don't have to have this perfect the gaps can all be different sizes and I think the randomness of it is what makes it really look beautiful So now that I've all finished my mosaic kit, you can see how it looks. I've got all the pieces on there, I'm trying to fill the spaces as best as I can, as well as my bird in the middle, which I think sticks out really, really well. So the third step of this is adding the glaze on, and I've just started from one side and worked my way across so that I didn't bump any of the glaze with my hand. Um, the kit says to leave this for an hour or so to dry. But um, I was doing this at night time, so I just put it on and then left it overnight to dry. When I came back in the morning, it was good. So the glaze puts a nice shiny finish on all your little tiles and kind of makes them look like little glass tiles. You can see this here, it's so shiny. Now the grout in the background is white, but I wanted to add just a little hint of colour to this just so that it wasn't so white. And what I'm using is Distress Ink. I've put some pink colours around the bird. I think I'm using milled lavender and tattered rose. And so I've just popped that around the outside of the bird and then around the background I've used um, the Distress Ink and bundled sage and old paper. And this isn't a strong colour, I'm putting it on very lightly so it's not going to overpower the tiles. Obviously you want to be able to see the gaps between the tiles make it look pretty. I've also put some on the edges as well. I had actually put grout on the edges of the canvas. Um, I was originally going to put some mosaic pieces on there but I decided to leave that and leave that blank. And then I'm just putting a little bit of brown ink and vintage photo around the outsides. Now just to blend this all in, I'm just putting a little bit of water on to blend my colours. I'm not trying to be overly perfect here, I just want just a little bit of colour. And just dab it with a brush, take off any excess colour. And again on the sides, just blending in a little bit and then taking it off with a wipe. Sorry, I'm going off camera a little bit there. And so now that you've got your main part of the canvas all done, it's all ready to be embellished. I'm just trying to show you the colour, it didn't, it didn't come up on the video. So here is what I'm going to use for my embellishments today. I have the flowers that had come in the project add-on kit, so I'm using pretty much the whole packet there. I also have a couple of flowers that have came from the Prima flower kit in the main kit this month. And those little tiny flowers, I've just unwound them from their bundle. I also have a couple of flowers that are from a previous kit. And also the Primo Royal Menagerie leaves that came in a previous kit as well. I've pulled a couple of those out. This little resin is from the Archivist cast um, that we got in the embellishment add-on kit this month. And also the lace that came with this project add-on kit. I also have a couple of the Prima chipwood pieces that came in the ma main kit. That one says live your dreams and that one's a little clock and also a couple of the dusty attic flourishes that were in the um, main kit this month and just from my stash I have just um, a little twig thing so what I'm going to do to my chipboard is first I'm going to prime that with um, some gesso if you don't have um, spray on gesso like I don't you can use normal gesso and putting it on with a sponge is, is the best way. It's really quick and you get good coverage. So I just dry that off with a heat gun. Now to add some colour to these, I've decided to put embossing ink on them. And the embossing ink is the Blue Fern Ink in Mystic Lilac, I think. Sorry, I'll put that in the description box which one that is. So I'm just adding those on and heat embossing them. So once they're all done, it's time to glue them on. I'm just putting one in each corner for this. 
and then I realized what I was going to do with the lace. <laughs> I already had it glued on. So I'm just going to glue the lace around the outside. Um, I'm not sure if Chrissy did this on purpose or not, but this lace fits perfectly around the canvas, so that is really good. There's no waste on this one. And this also just gives the edges just a little bit of detail. The front is really busy, so I didn't want to put too much on the sides. And now I'm starting to put my flowers on. I've um, just cutting up that little twig there, just so the little berry bits are at the top of each piece. And I just want to make little um, mini arrangements with them. So I'm taking some of the little tiny prima flowers and um, twisting everything around each other just to make little arrangements. So it ends up making three of these little bundles, um, each with two mini flowers and two of the little stems. So next I'm using um, the chipboard piece, just as kind of a title to this canvas. And starting to add my flowers around it. I have um, kind of pre decided on where my flowers were going to go before I start this video, so that's why it seems like I'm doing this quickly. But I had fiddled around for a long time before I started. And sometimes, even when you pre arrange stuff, stuff never actually quite goes how you want it in the end. That's why you'll see me just putting flowers around and then moving them and putting them back. Now these chipboard pieces are self-adhesive, but I've just added a bit of glue onto the back of them as well, just to help them stay stuck down. I'm trying to decide where that little bit of resin will go, but I've just pop it there. And the same with that flower, I glue it down and then I actually move it in the end. And this little flower I glue here, but once the camera's off, I actually tuck it underneath all the others. So what I'm doing here is I've taken the piece of dictionary vellum paper that comes with the papers this week, uh, month, and I've just got a butterfly punch and I've cut out five butterfly shapes. And I'm just going to add a little bit of colour with a distress ink in the milled lavender. And then I'm going to um, glue these on. I actually go back in after I finish filming and put little dots in there with a pearl pen just to add some, some more detail to them. And then next I have the pearls um, that have came in the kit this month. Um, the blue one is from the main kit and the purple one is from the embellishment add-on kit. And I'm just um, gluing these down with a little, little bit of extra glue just so they don't move on me at a later date. And the last step for this really is the eye for my bird and I go with the largest pearl and then I decide it's too big, <laughs> keep going down in size, but I end up using the, um, the third smallest one. And so that is my canvas finished. Again this was, um, this was really easy to make, the mosaic kit is great, I had a lot of fun. It does take a long time, but it's very, very relaxing. So 
it was it was really fun to make this one so I hope you enjoyed it and remember if you'd like to have your own swirly do's kit make sure you go to swirlydoos.com to order that and also join us on the forum and our Facebook page for some great challenges and fun every month see you next time bye